Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We've got a great video for you today. We've got a haul video. It's a real mix of many, many, many uh, little trips, little trips to charity shops when we're running errands, out of the post office, all the rest of it. So I reckon this is probably from, I don't know, 10 shops or something, maybe more. Uh, there's a mix of stuff that Faye's picked up, stuff that I've picked up, all for reselling on eBay and Amazon. I reckon Faye's stuff is outnumbering mine by about two to one, so uh, she'll show you two things, I'll show one, we'll do that. And we had a message on one of our last videos about showing the labels, so we'll try and do that. You can look them up on Google, it can sort of slow the video down and slow the process down. We want to try and get through this as quick as we can so that we're not taking up too much of your time. Um, but also, you know, we do appreciate that seeing the labels does help. So you know you, you know what to look for as well so we'll try and do that as much as we can thanks very much for your comment first things first i picked up um this victoria's secret sort of negligee nighty thing it's brand new with tags there we go um it says 58 dollars on it and i paid 4.99 so very happy with that one and I also picked up, I think this is probably in the same shop. Yeah, it's La Maison du Jersey. So I'm guessing Jersey as in the island. There we go. Paid $3.99 for this. It's a size 24. It's knitted. Uh, I guess, let's see. But yeah, it's 60% acrylic, but it's 15% alpaca. Um, it's got virgin wool and viscose in it as well, but that's a great knit for this time of year. Look, all of this stuff's kind of muddled up because I piled it up on the table last night really to do the video and then it sort of fell down. So it's all sort of muddled up in terms of like what, which shops we got them from. Uh, but yesterday we were in a, we went to the auction to view the auction and nearby there's some charity shops we popped in and I was three grabbing a couple of things. Yeah. Three of them. Three, yeah. Did really and, well. Yeah, and then the lady said to me, oh, uh, if you like games, I've got this. And it's the Master Edition Trivial Pursuit. And it's a pretty good one. Uh, used 28.99. Might be plus post, um, but yeah, used 28.99 or from 28.99. So I paid two pounds, she hadn't priced it, but the, one on the counter was two pounds, so she said I could have it for the same. Well done. Let's do these. So, got Fuzzy Bear, uh, quite a big one. Uh, it's at least sort of, I'd say about 40 centimetres. Mm. He, he was 3 99 I reckon I can get probably just under 20 for him. He's an official Disney store. Uh, made exclusively for the Walt Disney Company. I'll put him in with my clothes. <laughs> And then I also got this, and this is funny because uh, a little story about these um, top-up shops. So we have a charity shop right by our post office. So Simon went one evening just before closing, then went back in the morning to get something that didn't have it. It had been sold. And then I went back that evening as well. So on those three trips, within 24 hours of each other, we both came away with stuff each time, didn't we? Yeah. And then we also went yesterday at just like late afternoon and got more stuff. Yeah. So they're, they're topping up all the time. And it's not a big charity shop, is it? No, not at all, no, very small. Um, so I got these, it's an espresso set from Wittards. There's, is it five or six? Six, oh, five sources, six mugs. Yeah, and I paid, I think the price is on one. 3.99. 3.99 for those, so okay. pleased with those. And I've, I've looked, there's none in this pattern for sale. Um, so I'm going to go for like 25 quid, I think. Very nice. Thank you. I uh, picked this up on our three, like the three charity shops that are on the same street. It's a Clements Ribeiro um, cardigan. I paid £6.50. It feels like wool. 20% um, wool, 4% cashmere. Um, well, when I remember, I'll show the label. There you go. And uh, if we're not showing it for long enough, you can always just hit that pause button and take a look. 
Uh, so I grabbed these, this is the one close to us, this was yesterday, 99p, they fell out so I've put them, haven't put them back right, but it's pocket peanuts, so it's like Snoopy and peanuts. Uh, they're old actually, uh, 1988 they're from, uh, 99p as I said they're used, four little books, they're cute, I think there's little posters in there as well, uh, and I think I can get around 13 to 14 pounds, so I was kind of happy with that. Uh, return for 99p and really easy to list. Especially when we've got a little Snoopy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, another one of these trips this week was when I was out with my sister and my niece and nephew, which was nice. Um, we went to four or five charity shops. I got this box of Radley socks, which would be great for Christmas. Uh, paid six pounds. I got this fat face top purely because it was cheap, uh, it's a winter, is it cardigan? Yeah, another cardigan, it was 2 dollars so I wasn't gonna leave that behind. Um, there is a Facebook page to, to, re to sell um, fat face stuff, so I may well put it on there as well as eBay. Mm -hmm. uh, in the shop that she dug out um, Trivial Pursuit Master Edition, they had this, Simpsons Jeopardy. It's from 2003, uh, I don't think it was on Amazon, and I'm not sure I found it on eBay, so, uh, yeah, I can't tell you anything more about it other than it's based on the sort of US TV quiz show. Uh, so there we go. Quite pleased with that little one. Well done. Ooh. Oh. Throw it on the floor. I think this is mint velvet. Yeah, size 10. Paid £8 for this. Um, but it's a nice striped... Um, jumper and I will put this on eBay and on the Mint Velvet Ooh. Facebook group. But just in case. There you go. Also oh. just a quick note actually before Faye talks about this one, we're picking up quite a few subscribers at the moment so thanks very much if you're if the first video you're watching or if you've only watched a few you can go back uh, and see lots of haul videos, lots of sales videos so you can get a really good idea of kind of what, what we do, what we're all about. Um, but yeah, thanks for subscribing if you're new. Uh, we really appreciate the likes, the comments. When we were in a charity shop yesterday, I'd kind of got what I wanted to pay for and I was waiting for Simon and I just went to the counter and she started putting it through. And then Simon was looking at something like like out of the cabinet in really close detail. So then I was waiting for him. So then I was adding to my pile and it kind of went on like that for about 15 minutes. We just, she's like, okay, you ready now? I'm like, no. And while Simon was just double checking something, um, another lady came out and hung a load of stuff to go out on the shelf or out on the racks um, for the lady that was serving us to put out. And I said, oh, do you mind if I look through there while he's still deciding? She said, no, I'm glad I did because I picked up some Rohan trousers. So lots of Rohan. These are nice ones. I think these could be the dry essential or the warm essential because they're thick fleecy trousers, excellent condition. And they're a size 12 and I paid 4.99. Oh, poetry, I'll show you the label. Bear in mind though, some of these labels, like some of the brands change their branding. So the labels change, the design of the labels change over time or the color, font. But these are poetry trousers, sort of wide leg, kind of like velvet trousers. These um, are large and they were 2 dollars I recently sold a poetry suit for about 60 quid. So it was trousers and a matching jacket. Uh, so that was really good. Um, so yeah, please with those. The big taboo. This is with Bendy Bob. Bendy Bob is the little. It's like a muppet. Bendy plush. Never played the game, um, but yeah, he's a part of it. This was from the shop where she gave me the Trivial Pursuit. I checked it actually while I was there, and then it was complete. I paid two pound fifty for it. This is a bolo. If you see this. Big taboo, grab it, does well on eBay and Amazon, uh, so like 30 quid plus. Uh, I'll do this one. I found this. Faye grabbed this, it's Beans and Sprouts in Posse Puzzle, um, back in the day when I was working for, uh, for someone else. Um, and managing the Amazon account, we were selling hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. That must have been around six or seven years ago so um I, I think i guess they still make it now it's brand new sealed it's a bit the, it's a bit bumped on the side and what have you got a rip on the back uh let's hair on the back uh but yeah that'll do nicely at christmas i checked it in the shop and it's still good money used so. yeah so it'll be used like new or a new other on ebay 
Oh, we just sold something. Oh, we just sold a Rohan jacket. See, We're selling Rohan. <laughs> Um, this is another a new brand for me. I looked it up in the shop when I saw it. It's Dancing Leopard. It's a um, play suit, so shorts and top in one. It's Australian, I think. It costs four ninety nine. Oh, yeah. I knew they sell for about fifty quid, so I reckon I could probably get about thirty for that. That's all one thing. And I also took a punt on this, just a cropped Adidas top, very nice, flowery. Everyone's wearing, well, all the youngsters are wearing crop tops. This was three ninety five, and it's a size 16. Uh, I grabbed this, I don't even know, oh, sand and glitter. Not exactly sure. He had a set Not by Dejeco for a long time when we first started reselling, do you remember? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it was this, missing pens. Yeah, this one's on Amazon, uh, does quite well, around £18 or something. It's brand new and sealed, I paid three ninety-nine. Cool. Now, I haven't been picking up this brand much lately because it does take a while to sell. Um, no, I'm lying. That's something completely different. Uh, let me just cut this thread. Um, this is white stuff. I thought this was going to be and other stories, but it's not. It's white stuff. I don't always pick up white stuff, but I thought this dress was really lovely. It's very different. It's linen. Um, the applique and embroidery on it is just very pretty. And I paid $8.99. It's a size 14. Is that like a tunic dress? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Mm. Don't often pick up children's stuff unless I'm just sort of waiting around and just, that's the only bit of the shop I haven't looked at and I'll see something. Picked up this kid's fat face coat. It's like corduroy, it's very thick. Um, it's aged 10 to 11 years and costs £3.50. And that's fat face. Might be able to get about 20 quid for that. They, right. they picked this up, Lego Friends, 6 95 Now I do hear quite a lot on YouTube, Instagram and stuff about Lego Friends because it is discontinued and there's loads of collectors, blah, blah, blah. They picked up uh, quite a bit, about 10 boxes. Uh, they were kind of like, used like new. Little ones, really. Uh, none of them have sold yet. Obviously, I sort of started quite high, but they're not that high. I thought high. one had sold. Maybe. They're not, they're not that high in price. So I think most of them are now under 20 quid. Um, they're obviously also listed on eBay because we cross-list everything from Amazon to eBay. Um, but yeah, didn't haven't sold as quick as I would hope. So uh, the rank was this good space. as well. Yeah, six ninety five. That one was. We'll do these next. Have you seen what's in here? Mm. Oh yeah. They are Wedgwood silver plated. I think. They were four pounds. I know that. Nothing there. This is in a charity shop that we haven't been in for ages in the town that we always go to, but we stopped going to this one because it was naff. So they were £4. Um, silver plated napkin rings. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I've sold loads of these. Uh, I've had them in the auction, from the auction before, and I've seen them in charity shops. I think I've bought. Um, the charity shop I got this one from, I bought two more from there in the past, so I don't know where they're coming from, but it, oh, the brand is Halty, and it's a dog harness, and it's not been used, so I checked in the shop, cost two ninety nine. should be able to get about 15 just easy to list. Uh, now, interestingly, I'm going to show three, three for one on this one, um, a pub not too far away from us, the, it's closing down, or the landlady's moving on or whatever, I don't know what's happening to the pub. Um, but Faye spotted on social media that she was basically having a big clear out. So I got there, bang on nine o'clock, and there was a huge marquee out the back. Um, and everything that you can imagine that would be in a pub was in this marquee getting sold off. Fridges, and even things like law like the lawnmower for the pub, and lights, decorations. Plants. And then alcohol, there was a huge table, all the alcohol from behind the bar, so half, half drunk bottles of gin and stuff. They were flogging off, bottles of beer, um, glassware, drip trays, you name it, it was being sold. But also she was selling off a lot of her personal items as well. 
and so there was like a rail of clothes but it wasn't anything that you know got me excited i didn't go and Faye didn't Faye wasn't there so i wasn't sort of bringing any of that stuff home but she was also selling off games so um i got this rather nice backgammon set in a case which is quite sweet and backgammon sets in cases like this um you know are a, are a sort of easy 20 quid i would, I would say um, sometimes more sometimes a little bit less that was a pound and we'll probably sell it without the box because the box is pretty old and tatty it doesn't need to be in the box so from the same place i also got monopoly empire and I've got an incomplete one of these, so I grabbed it for a pound. You know, it looks like, you can see through the window there, it's all a bit jumbled up and everything. So there could well be things missing, but I should have the replacements for those. And just while I'm talking about replacements, say this, well, I'm trying to say in every video, if you need any bits and bobs for anything, I've got lots and lots of replacements for all sorts of stuff. So uh, just message us over on Instagram. And I also got this, Connect4 Launchers. Uh, which is like a different spin, spin on Connect Four. This is a bit of a bolo as well, I would say. Be on the lookout for this one. So I'm trying to find a price tag, but of course it was a pound. Mm -hmm. What else did you get from the pub? I also got a load of glasses. I bought about 72 pint glasses of a sort of particular beer that's not a well-known beer, Spanish beer. Um, and they're quite rare there's only three or four listings there's only actually about two different sellers and they've got a few sort of you know twos fours all the rest of it so i've joined the party on that one um i haven't got any to show you because they're all in the barn um but yeah how much did you pay i paid 50p a glass i paid well for all of this i paid 45 quid the glasses and those games um it should have been like 41 or something but i just gave them 45 and keep the change um, so yeah, I paid 50p a glass and I'm hoping, well, there's regular sales of the glasses for sort of two for 14 99 I'm priced a bit above that. Um, I'm not really in a hurry to sell for, for 30 quid. They're taking up a little bit of room in the barn, but they're kind of neatly, they're in their, they're in their boxes. So they're easily sort of neatly stored. Um, so yeah, happy, happy with that. And, and most of them, the majority of them look like they've never been used. The boxes were still pristine. There was a one or two boxes where you could tell the glasses had come in and out of them um, and the glasses weren't kind of pristine but yeah I was really pleased with that so I've just listed like 20 of them. And what else did you get? Oh and I got some um, packaging, I've got pizza boxes, they're not like big like Larry pizza boxes that look really like a pizza box if you know what I mean, I've got, but they're just brown boxes um, that fold into, I've got different sizes, I've already used one already for a for a plate that we sold or a saucer um, and yeah I got like a, a big big stack of, of flat pack pizza boxes for a fiver. Are you gonna say what else? Is that, was that it? <laughs> I, I kept I forgetting. That. Yeah I forgot about those things. So yeah um, keep your eyes out for stuff like that because I really sort of went without much hope. I didn't really want to come home with like mixed glasses or booze or anything like that but uh, yeah, I did. I think I did okay. Yeah, you did. Well done. Glad I made you go. <laughs> um, <clears throat> got this Hobbs card again. There's the label. Hobbs, seven ninety five, which I wouldn't normally pay. Is it card again? No, it's a jumper. A hundred percent merino wool, and um, lots of people love um, Hobbs, so I was giving it that a Show go. The label. I did. Sparkly. A Christmas Disney jumper, it's not been worn because it's still got a um, tag on it. It's just Tesco's, but um, people love a um, Christmas, jumper. Christmas jumper and it's new and it's £8.50. Mm. Nice. I mean, I wouldn't wear it, but... No, oh look, and it does... Oh uh, yeah. It's Minnie Mouse, isn't it? Oh yeah. Was it Minnie? No, it's Mickey. Oh no, Mickey, definitely Mickey. Yeah. What is th that? This is, um, I just, I wasn't like looking for anything like this. It's a cape with a hood and like pom-poms. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, the brand. Dents. Dents. They don't want to do like wallets and yeah, gloves and sold, stuff. Yeah, paid 8 95 I don't know where the... I 
did look them up when I was in the shop. I don't know if there's a label. <laughs> Might be all day. Send help. Yeah. Anyone see a label? No. Oh, it's actually on there. <laughs> Dry clean only. Hang on. There she is. Doesn't say what. Oh, there we go. 100% polyester. Polyester. Um, but they I should be able to get maybe 40 odd quid for that. Mm. Yeah. Another impossible puzzle. I this, found this. Yeah, this one's like the retro sweets one. Uh, chocolate beans, aka Smarties. Uh, and like, what's the other one? Like pickle mix, isn't it? So that was one ninety nine. That's brand new and sealed. And this one, I think, did it? It's got an original price on it from like TK Maxx or Home Sense for oh, yeah, four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Oh, P nine nine nine. Get way more than that. Uh, but it is brand new and sealed. There's like a tiny bit of scuffing, but nothing to worry about. The edges are good. So yeah, brand new. That's good. There you go. What's this? I've no idea. <laughs> but some of our washing. No. <laughs> oh, Desigual top size small. Desigual, there's lots of different variations of the label, but there you go. Desigual. They're quite leery patterns. Got a dress for sale at the moment that I showed in a recent video. That was four forty nine. I've got another Christmas jumper. This one is a Joe Browns, and it's a twelve to fourteen. There's the Joe Browns label, and I paid four ninety nine for this one. It smells nice. <laughs> Sisters equal as well. Yes. There you go, different label, different label but it's and uh, it's a top and this is an extra large and that was £5.99. Um, is this Ted Baker? No, Fred Perry shirt. Oh, it's like a shirt dress, it's ladies shirt dress. There's the label. This was £5.99 and it's the UK 8. remember any of this. <laughs> I've only had it a couple of days. Uh, Kettle World, just a black cardigan. Uh, there's the label. It's a small medium. There you go. And this was 2 99 And this is a, oh, it's another sort of Christmassy winter jumper. I just liked it. It's John Lewis um, weekend collection or collection weekend. There you go. I wouldn't normally pick it up, but I just thought this was a nice jumper for three ninety nine, and it's a size ten. Mm. Um, I got this Top Trumps Tournament Marvel Edition, paid three ninety nine. I'm gonna scan this one. I can't remember what I found out about it, uh, but it's probably half decent. So. Out of stock. Oh, out of stock with a few, not many reviews, not a great rank, but out of stock. I don't know how long it's been out of stock for. It's from 2011, so it might have been out of stock for sort of seven or eight years. Who knows? Who um, knows? But yeah. Some stuff for you. Oh. Ah, this was a good one. Never found this before, and I found it brand new with tags. It's House of Brewer. There we go. It's a sort of tartan top. Um, the RRP on it is $69.95, and I paid $14.99. Very pleased with that. And this is a jumper dress, I think. Sea salt jumper dress. There we go. It's there's the label. It's a size 20. I paid 9.99. Um, and if you look on the actual care label on sea salt, you'll see the name of the item. This is a heartfelt dress. And um, so I'll be able to look that up exactly and find out all about it and see people that are selling it as the heartfelt dress. Uh, mint velvet already shown you the label so i won't show you again this is just a jumper small four pound 49 in like your favorite color turquoise yeah i like it a bit sort of a bit brighter than that turquoise but yeah and this, like this 
This was a new one for me. The brand is Orientique Naturally Australian. Uh, very colourful. I looked it up in the shop, it does all right. And this was £3.49. That is colourful. Mm. Uh, brand new with tags, very small size, but brand new with tags, River Island Molly jeans. Um, there we go. These were eight pounds, reduced from 15 in the Chazza. Um, they sell for 42 in River Island. They've got the frayed bits at the end. So that was good. And that was literally when I whizzed into a charity shop when I was due to pick up um, my niece or our niece from preschool the other day. So I also grabbed these ones. These were reduced to 10 pounds from the Chazza price of 25. They are brand new with tags, Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Uh, they are a, they're Rome, regular fit. What size are they? How many labels do they need to be? A lot of labels, isn't there? Is it on there? <laughs> 32, 32, according to the Chazza label. Mm -hmm. Uh, despicable me frustration. I paid two ninety nine, um, and it's used. What else is there to say? I, I did check it actually. It's got the, all the pieces in there. So there we go. Got some. Uh, I've got some really really interesting stuff to show you towards the end of the video. So uh, stay tuned. Hold tight. Another uh, mint velvet top. This one's a size 14 and I paid literally no idea. It was free. Yeah, maybe it was. Don't know. <laughs> something, you yeah. paid something maybe. Pay something. Another fat face cardigan. This one, oh it's a jumper actually, I think. This one was £8.50, but it's just lovely. Really nice jumper. Um, it's a size 12. It looks bigger than a size 12. Mm. I'm not a size 12. Mm -hmm. Blimey. Uh, yes, yeah, so please with that one. And then this was reduced to four pounds, a size 20. And it's a Cheska dress. Cheska label, it's, it's like a high-end brand. Uh, Cheska is not cheap, brand new. And it is a maxi dress. <laughs> My arms Ooh. are aching. Are they? <laughs> they were aching yesterday when I was like going through the racks. Um, oh, I found that. They got this one. So does that mean I get to show two? One ninety nine for a brand new and sealed Ravensburger from two thousand and five. Thousand piece puzzle. Pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> uh, this was in a recent thumbnail. I don't really know how much, how far I should go into it, but this baffles me. This game, Dream Phone. Um, so there's like little boy characters. I mean, they're not boys. I'm, not, I'm gonna say they're not boys. They're not boys. They're men. Um, and this is for eight plus. And um, I don't really know how you play it. Obviously, I haven't played it. But like, you get little calls. You get little messages from the blokes. It's a bit weird. Bit bit weird in today's whatever. Dang. Let's not say anymore. There you go. Um, I took a punt on this, so actually I've got two. There's another one over there, but a different colour. It's a Bowden Gillet, and it was seven ninety five, but it's leather and um, or suede, and I reckon I can get like forty pound for it. So I sort of thought, is that moleskin or something? Yeah, yeah could, could be. be. Check, let me show that one. I also from the same shop. I got this one. Um, Oh, I forgot to show the label. Bowden, there's different variations of the Bowden label, but there's one. Um, this one was also 7 95 size 12. Um, some more underwear. This was 2 99 Brand new with tags. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, there's the middle of the... Yeah, there we go. It's a cross back. That's why I'm getting confused. It's a Ult Ultimo black label sort of body, um, size medium two ninety nine. And then 
this, which I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's Florence and Fred F and F, so Tesco's, but it's a hundred percent cashmere jumper, and it's men's and it's size large. Mm -hmm. Great price for a hundred percent cashmere. Just run through these DVDs. I won't scan them in or anything, but it's a Downton Abbey box set one to four. Faye picked this up. Little tear on the back. Uh, but otherwise it's sealed, three pounds. I don't know how many seasons did Downton Abbey get to. So you've got to be careful if you're picking up box sets. Obviously if they're cheap enough, then you've got a decent chance of selling them. Um, but yeah, if, there's like, if they've done like 10 seasons, then the chances are you can get one to 10 for the same sort of money. I did scan it in the shop though. Nice one, got to do little four pack. I got that was yesterday. was 99p. Uh, I got this yesterday, 199, zero dark 30. Blu-ray, it sells for about 10, brand new. Uh, also got this, 3.99 Audrey Hepburn like box set, uh, brand new and sealed. I can't remember the sellers on that, maybe 25 to 30, I think. It might have been a bit lower, but still worth it for 3.99. This was a surprise, that's the old last of the summer wine. 2.99 I paid, it's brand new and sealed, and that is a 20 pound DVD. Uh, goat, oh, it's a, Triple, American Gigolo, Ghost, and an Officer and a Gentleman, 99B. Did you get that one? Yeah, I don't, didn't remember that. Al Murray, the Pub Landlord Live, was a pound. Well. Brand new seal. And I got this as well. Uh, um, it's a book, Credible Science, something or other. Uh, it cost 50p. Who knows what it's about? Uh, we'll scan it. Technology yeah. of the gods. Okay then. It's got a really good rank on Amazon and it sells used for £19.05. Mm. Good one. Thank you. I've just been bidding on a load of books at auction and they were going for so much. There was some really, really, really good stuff. But the lots were going for over 200 quid and there's, there'd still be decent profit there, but it's quite a bit of work because it's um you know a lot of books that you're bidding on and there was about five lots of them and i just couldn't be bothered next week to be worrying about lugging all that around <laughs> clements ribeiro jacket now i've shown you clements ribeiro already today but this label is slightly different this is or was five pound 95 sequins size small this needs a bit of a dig bobble, but it's pure cashmere, costs £4.45, Marks and Spencers. But I have my dig bobble machine, which is really great. It's just battery operated. And there's a link to that, I think. There's a tools and resources link on our channel page, also on our Instagram. Now, I've never found Oscar before, but Simon found it yesterday in a Chaza. It's this uh, jumper, costs £3.95. There is the label and it's, it's men's, isn't it? Uh, well, it's on the men's rack. I don't know enough about it to, I'd have to look it up. Um, and it is made of oh, size one. Hmm, so bit of work for you then, bit of yeah. research. It's made from 35% wool, 30% alpaca, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, really good for 3 95 And in the same shop I found my first Oscar after that, I found these trousers. There we go, these are also 3 95 So very happy with those. And this top, I have no idea what brand this is. Oh, Gant, just a nice stripy ladies top, 3 95 It's got the G logo for Gant. And there is the label there. Right, knickknacks. There's still a few more clothes. Uh, so I haven't checked this yet. This is three ninety nine. It's chess pieces, obviously. What did you say? Could be onyx. Onyx, yeah. I thought maybe <coughs> alabaster, but maybe not. Um, I don't really know much about that stuff. Um, but Faye will find out. Zoe knows better. My sister about uh, stains. Yeah. So uh, there you go. If you want to pop a comment in. Let us know what you think they're made out of. I know it's not the best looking at them like this. Um, but yeah, let us know. Now, if I grab this, <laughs> this is while I was like thoroughly researching something which I haven't shown you yet, but I can't wait to show you. I wasn't far off with my guesstimation. Mm. It's a technical drawing um, 
something or other. I knew it was technical drawing. Um, my dad is a technical drawer, or he's retired now, but um, ended up doing it on computers in the end. But yeah, so I'm sort of familiar with sort of this sort of stuff. Um, can't remember much about it other than it's Harling is the brand. Maybe when we go for lunch tomorrow, I'll take it with me and he can tell me if it's mm, any good or good not. Idea. Um, and paid four ninety nine for that. This one. So on the day that I went back for something, it was Matchbox Cars in a presentation um, box. I was there at closing and I didn't buy them, they were £30. And I went back the following morning after going to the pub closure thing and I was too late. The first thing they sold that morning and there was another one there as well. So I was a bit, you know... As disgruntled. You disgruntled, yeah. So much so that I made myself get eliminated on Instagram stories. If you saw my story, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, but I did, so I had a quick look around while I was there in my disappointment and got these indoor ball, <laughs> bowls. Uh, they're B and A, the vintage, they're from I don't know when, I'll find out. Uh, little mini balls, bowls, and they do all right. Um, so I paid eight ninety nine, and these can sell for sort of around, well, 30 to 40. Uh, but yeah, for, 40, I don't think at a stretch. I'll list them probably like 45, something like that, best offer. So we've also got our coupon, so. Yes. And also that time I picked up these, Helter Skelter, so drum and bass. So from back in the day, from like the early 90s, hype, LSD. So yeah, really pleased about Dougal, Groove Rider. Um, and I'll probably give those a listen because that is my era in the 90s. Uh, paid 6 99 for those. And I hope I can get 25 to 30 pounds, if not more, who knows? I was listening to, uh, what was I listening to in the early 90s? Not that. Boyzone and E17. Boyzone, E17. <laughs> I didn't listen to Boyzone. Yeah, no, E17, yeah, that's fine. Um, some Fly London sandals. Always pick Fly London up if I see them and they're reasonably priced. There's the logo and they were 6 99 If you look up Fly London online, you'll see brand new, they're not cheap. Now, complete fail. Nice little Marmite jug. Pop. It, pop, sorry. And it had a nice lid. For 3 99 I paid. Um, for this and then I was just looking something else up which I'll show you in a minute and I dropped the lid and it was like you know I dropped it but it didn't hit the floor and it was caught up somewhere around my with my bag and my hoodie and you know it's like well if I don't move I can't I'm never going to get home so I need to move and I moved and then it, that's when it dropped on the floor and smashed into smithereens the lady came out and I was like don't worry I'll pay for it what a shame um, I could have got, I think, 15 to 17 pounds for it intact. Um, obviously, less so now, like that. Um, obviously, we won't sell it with the broken lid. Um, so, yeah, but at the same time... You also broke our Pyrex jar this week. I did, yeah. Well, that jumped out of the cupboard at me and then smashed into, like, a billion pieces, which, like, exploded everywhere. Just as I was serving dinner. Yeah. Um, two ninety nine. I paid for this. It's the Pioneer Woman stoneware, and if you look this brand up, the Pioneer Woman stoneware, and look up mugs and go sold high to low. Um, stuff goes for really, really good money. Like so, people sold sets of four different sets. Obviously, this has got a name. I I did find it on eBay. This particular one. Um, but yeah, like, Bolo. blown away. Bolo, yeah, absolutely. The Pioneer Woman, any ceramics, the Pioneer Woman. I don't know anything about it. I'm sure there's a sort of story behind it. It's um, uh, prov Providence, would that be the right word? But yeah, look out. It's got to be an American brand. For that. Is it made in America? Uh, no, it was made in China. Oh. Uh, let me give Faye a couple of things. Oh, you're too generous. Hmm. A jumper, £3.95, Marks and Spencer's autograph, but I'm pretty sure it's 100% cashmere. 
Yes, 100% cashmere, size 12. I've just seen a tiny little hole. <gasps> uh, uh. It's been repaired. So they've put like nail varnish on it, or mm, whatever it's I called. I think they've sewn it. But I'll declare that, and I will still make money on that, at 3.95. Um, the, the more glasses you break, no, <laughs> I always say this, the more glasses you wash, the more you'll break. And that's the same with sourcing, you know, the more things you're picking up, you will come across issues, but that's fine. Just roll with the punches, get what you can back, and um, uh, forget all about it. Berghouse hoodie. This was £4.45. Sold some trousers recently, two pairs of trousers actually. Um, that's the label, size. Did you say hoodie? 12, fleece. Did I say hoodie? I didn't I mean so. hoodie. Said, I should have said flea. How dare you? No. Out so outrageous. the next day after I didn't get what I wanted to get and then broke the cups and bought the other, uh, uh, bought the indoor bowls and the Helter Skelter cassettes. The next day found these, more cassettes. So Dreamscape, uh, a lot of the same DJs, same kind of era. Um, now they need a sort of don't know if you can see that, but they're a bit dusty. Uh, it all needs a bit of a sort of polish, uh, but that's fine. They look, you know, I always check the tape's not chewed up and stuff. I don't actually have a cassette player. I did have one in the barn, um, but it didn't work anymore. So. Not. I've got one in the barn, my stereo's in there. Yeah, we'll have to dig that out. A Disney Christmas mug cost 50p. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's official Disney store. It's Tigger, uh, tie up in Christmas lights. Yeah, look out for 3D mugs. So anything with like the raised uh, artwork, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, really good. And also these Hornsey Saffron bowls, they were 50p each. I got five and uh, couldn't leave those behind. They were in the dog uh, toy section. <laughs> were they really? Yeah. Like dog bowls? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> What is this? Oh, and other stories. It's a dress, like a jersey dress, six ninety nine. This is the label. Boom. <laughs> but it's very cute. Um, sort of quite sort of retro looking. Um, pleased with that one. That's the one I was thinking about earlier. Don't tend to pick up on other stories anymore because uh, it doesn't sell great, but that I thought was quite different. Uh, mint velvet, £4.49. That is, is that the front? Yeah, it's at an angle. Yeah, it's at the side. Uh, £4.49, size medium, uh, very nice soft jumper. That will go on eBay and on the Facebook page. And then this is the last item of clothing, but stay tuned because Simon's got some great things to show you still. Don't usually pick up Pull and Bear. Um, where's the label gone? Just saw it. Here we go. Pull and Bear. But these are, they like, remind me of, uh, is it Lucy and Yak? Is that the name? Um, uh, dungarees. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Cord dungarees. Dungarees. They were, my arm's sake, six ninety nine size small. Well, you can rest your arms now, yes. because it's my turn. So what do I want to say about this stuff? Well, the, the things that I'm going to show you now just go to show that you can find treasure anywhere. You don't need to have knowledge before you walk in. You can look stuff up, you can look at stuff. These items, well, two of them in particular, had no idea what they are. The lady in the shop had no idea, so we were kind of like looking them up and she was interested because she was like, I don't know either. So, you know, I know a lot of people don't like looking stuff up in charity shops and whatever you're most comfortable with um, is fine, obviously, that's up to you. But had I not looked these up, I wouldn't have bought them, simple as that, and I wouldn't, you know, have this opportunity to make this sort of money. Um, so the first thing is, I'll show you, these are hearing aid sort of add-ons, if you like, aids. So this St Streamer Pro um, is by Opticon Connect Line. And I've had a look inside the boxes and the stuff doesn't look used. You, you know, the binding on the cables and stuff looks like factory. Um, 
I paid $24.99. I couldn't tell you what it is. Like, obviously I know it's like something to do with your hearing aid and something to do with maybe telephone, looking up phone calls or something, I don't know. Um, but that's worth or sells for, if you wanna look it up on eBay. Uh, it's the Streamer Pro uh, 1.3, I think it is. Yeah, 1.3A. So you can look that up, but that's over 100, 100 pounds. Nice one. And this one is the TV 2.0. 2.0. So you can look that up. O Oticon Connect Line TV 2.0. Uh, I paid $24.99. So I actually paid more. No, the same. Um, and that's worth, I think, just under £100. But I will push for as much as I can. And I really look forward to hopefully showing you these in a sales video soon. They had another one. They had a phone. What have we got here? TV. Yeah, there's something to do with a phone. Uh, and that wasn't as good. It was 19.99. So they knew. They'd obviously done a little bit of research on them. They knew it was worth less, uh, but more worthless. And then, in the same shop, so they've got the cabinet, the Magic Cabinet, they had a Nintendo 64 instruction manual, they had, uh, you pointed, uh, they had a, a, a couple of like dictaphone type things, but sort of naff ones. My technical drawing compassy thing. Yeah, it was in there, uh, and a few other things, and so we were just going through, through it. And what I found was these. Now, so not, not giving much away, Flash tube for Pro 7 and PB. Pro Photo, the light shaping company. Um, I still don't know exactly what they're used for. There's two of them, they're exactly the same. You're going to try and touch them as little as possible. Yeah, you don't want to touch any part of it really if you can help it. But I will get it out. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's to look at actually, it's kind of not that interesting really um some sort of bulb um, i'm gonna put that away over there so there's two of them some sort of bulb for i guess it's some sort of industry like movies photography or... movies who knows uh sort of broadcasting i don't know um but i looked on the manufacturer's website there was which is um pro photo Flash tube, Pro 7, and those bulbs are $442. Um, and I paid nine each, and I paid $19.99 each. So $440, about 350 quid, 300 quid, whatever. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> now, you know, I've never sold anything like, well, I suppose, we might have sold stuff. Sorts, yeah, we have sold all sorts, haven't we? Uh, but really, really pleased with those. And had I not looked those up, you know, something sitting on the shelf, 20 quid in a white box. What is it? Don't know. Looked it up. And also there was what, there was something sold on eBay which kind of verified the price in terms of the, from the manufacturer, $440. Looked about right. I've got something to say now, actually. So sometimes on certain social media platforms, resellers get a bit of a bad name, don't they? For going in charity shops, buying stuff and selling it on. Now, who's going to buy those from a charity shop? You're not going to get the person that's got the the equipment that needs that bulb. It's going to walk like into that charity shop and buy it. And people that are maybe down on their luck that people assume shop in charity shops probably don't need one of those, so they're not going to buy it. So we've donated to charity by buying it, the charity have got their money and we're going to sell it. Otherwise it probably would have just got binned. It would have, it would have ended up in a recycling centre or in a glass bin or whatever, yeah, 100%. Yeah, you are quite right, you are quite right on that. And yeah, there are, there are people that are, there's a lot of people that are down on resellers for that reason. But honestly, who was going to, who, who's, who's lost out from us buying that? Which, you know, which person needed that um, to scrape by or to, you know. So, no, you're absolutely right. Let us know what you think about that subject, please. Put it in the comments down below. <laughs> so what did you think to those pickups? There was a bit of a selection there, wasn't there? Um, would you have picked them up? Uh, would you have left any of them behind? Who's were your favourite? What was your favourite pickup? Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> My bulbs. Ooh, there's three man's outside. Oh. 
Yeah, bulbs, definitely. Bulbs, all day long. 40 pounds into 800 dollars, maybe. Even if I get- I'll take 500. Yeah, even if I get 200 pound a bulb, even if I get 100 pound a bulb, even if I get 75 quid a bulb, I could go on all day. <laughs> it's get boring, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, definitely 100% bulbs. And what about yours? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Thought you weren't going to. No, I know. I know. I was, um, I was stringing it out for as long as possible because I could see you getting angry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember what I got, to be honest. Oh. Um, <laughs> no idea. Well, I'm not going to ask you next time. No, you're going to you ask me. You can't even think. No, I can't think. Oh dear. I'm what about go... your technical jewelry? What about your, um, what about your dog harness? No, I'm going to go with the Oscar trousers because I've never found Oscar before. Ah, and I found it before you. You did, like who's matter of three minutes. Yeah, and who's is going to sell for more money, do you think? I haven't got a clue. What do you think? The Oscar trousers or the Oscar jumper? What's going to sell for more? Mm. Watch this space. Yes. Try and remember. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, uh, hit the subscribe and notification bell. Thanks for watching and uh, we will see you next time.